This video contains disturbing content, violent content, jump scares, and sudden loud noises. Viewer discretion advised. I think we know what's about to happen. Something is about to come behind me, and I run away. Too bad, I'm going before that happens. The free indie games community is a popular place to look for small gems of entertainment made on a low budget. While seemingly simple at first glance, the quality of some indie titles can stand up to, or even surpass standards, set by the officially licensed gaming market. One popular genre that has sought to continuously show this high standard has been horror. All of the following games here are free and available at the time of this video's release. We're proud to bring you the top 45 freeware horror indie games too. Fiend Inspired by the works of HP Lovecraft, Fiend is a 2D top-down RPG that builds up an atmosphere of terror through its storytelling and perspective. Nick Kane arrives in the mining town of Launder to inspect the quality of the ore in the mines. A simple job, but soon takes a dark turn with the townspeople turning on you and its strange unearthly creatures creeping in the shadows. You must solve the mystery of Launder and discover the hidden force seeking to ensnare you. With the world seemingly at stake and a great power building in the small town, it is up to one mortal man to put a stop to these dark deeds and make sure that he sees the light of day again. My only. Having lost the love of your life, you wander aimlessly in the dark and rain, searching for any way to move on. Haunted by the memories of your one and only, and the knowledge that she will be with you no more, the player ventures through the park, and discovers page letters that paint the reason behind why love was lost to you. But as the truth unfolds, so does your world, and the haunted memories take a ghostly form. You must push forward if you want any chance of leaving the past behind, before it catches up to you. Bunny Man, Lost Souls. Based on the urban legend originating from the Colchester Road overpass near Clifton, Virginia, the game puts you in the shoes of a sheriff's deputy investigating the appearance of the Bunny Man. Haunted by specters of the cryptid's victims, the deputy must try to rescue them and put their souls to rest while avoiding the Bunny Man, who is in hot pursuit. While the game shadows slender to some extent, the soundtrack adds to the experience, and the atmosphere is pretty decently crafted. The game is very dark though, so turn up the gamma if you want to give it a proper go. Backstage Tom Keller appears to be the unluckiest man in the world, but even after being kicked out by his wife and checking into the seediest of hotels, his luck takes a turn for the worse. Falling deep into a nightmarish version of our world, Tom explores his home city, is visited by strange characters, and encounters memories that appear to be his own. The constant questioning of the truth will have the player constantly on edge, disoriented in the darkness. But no matter how much you try to bury your mistakes and transgressions, they will always come back to haunt you. As the saying goes, what goes around, comes around. Pizza delivery. Delivering pizza is such a mundane job, and sometimes you might find yourself wishing that things were spiced up a little bit. But how much spice is too much? When a pizza delivery boy finds himself in a house where some pretty unnerving events start to occur, the player must find a way to escape with their life, as well as without being blamed for the supernatural murder of the homeowner, Annie. 
As the game progresses, the pizza that the delivery boy has left on the table gradually becomes more and more ominous, first emerging from its box, and then left symbolically arranged on the floor. Eventually, the pizza leads to something a lot less cheesy, and a lot more sinister. The House One of the most popular Flash games of all time, The House, is the premier game of Synthi Studios, and is an indie horror title that could not have been missed on this list. A point-and-click style game, The House has a player traversing through a series of haunted rooms where a murder of an entire family took place. From the dining room, to the bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen, and then finally, the main corridor, you must discover clues strewn about that can shed light on what really happened here. If you want to have any chance of surviving this horror house, you will have to face your fears and brave the dark shadows, jump scares, and ambience of this classic. The truth is for you to discover, if you dare. Blame. From the moment you step into the world of blame, you feel the ever-present sensation that someone, somewhere, is watching you. With a flashlight as your only guide, the greatest challenge is finding enough power to keep it running or risk losing sight. The labyrinth of corridors and passageways keeps you wondering what will appear around every corner and the clues strewn in paint a sordid picture of those who were here before you. Their scrawled messages and crude drawings along the walls heighten the atmosphere, and noises in the distance keep you on your toes. Keep an eye out over your shoulder, because someone or something will find you. The question is, will it be a friend or a foe? Ravenwood Horror Dr. Henry Smith finds himself inside a strange chamber deep underground. It seems almost like a sacrificial area, but escape is first and foremost on his mind, not the nature of his predicament. He journeys out through the expansive basement into the huge mansion above ground that he recognizes as belonging to one of his patients. Sir H. Wilkins' treatment appears to have failed, as he has now begun a murderous spree with you as one of his intended victims. Solve the many puzzles of his lair to escape the madman's grasp. With your failures literally haunting your every step, make sure you don't falter, or you may very well find yourself dragged back to the basement. Era 53 You begin as a brave young warrior in a small village, ready to prove yourself to the king by taking on the evil Jack and his minions. However, when you start your quest, things begin to go terribly wrong. As the game is said to be a Japanese port, you can at first shrug off the Era 53, unknown messages from random NPCs' unpolished areas. Perhaps you can forgive the odd flash of an indiscernible image as you travel on your journey as a graphical bug. But as the game continues, these things slowly grow harder to ignore. When the player finally faces Jack, the sky turns a pitch black and the music distorts as he turns from a cute cartoonish pumpkin head into a grotesque corpse. It is here that the terror really begins. You must traverse through a world full of jump scares, horrific images, discordant music and nightmarish scenarios where even the very game seems designed against you. The Darkest Words Playing as a supply runner in a so-called new world, you have been tasked with scavenging for parts in a huge old mansion, and possibly a car. As you enter the house, however, you are confronted with a bloody murder scene that reveals to you a deadly secret. There is something coming for the survivors, something that you will have to face armed with only a pistol and your wits. As you walk through the lonely rooms and halls in the home, 
twisted creatures that seem to be bizarre experiments stalk you constantly, poised to attack. You gradually come closer to revealing something hidden in the bowels of the mansion, where it waits patiently for you to find it. The Escape Awaking deep within a dark forest, there seems to be no sign of humanity in any direction. But as you slowly venture out, the player discovers some evidence of civilization, all abandoned and recently too. This and the eerie feeling of being watched drives you to escape. You must collect the keys around the empty buildings and structures to find the escape key that unlocks the road to freedom. However, your feeling of unease is soon confirmed, as an alien creature relentlessly pursues you wherever you run. It's only a matter of time before it tracks you down. Are you quick enough to outsmart it? Grounded Scarlet has just narrowly escaped from a horrifying encounter as her stepfather attempted to brutally murder her with a hunting knife. After passing out while running away, Scarlet regains consciousness in a local hospital and tries to find anyone who will listen to her story. But the sick house is abandoned and dimly lit, with no hint as to where the staff have disappeared to. After finding a doctor named Basil Frederick, you are guided through the ruined wards, where some kind of major catastrophe has occurred. But the building's structural integrity is not your biggest concern. Someone is roaming the halls, slaughtering anyone in their path, and you are their main target. You must find a safe route out of the hospital, avoiding your impending demise, which could happen at any second. Hell was here when two of your best friends go missing in an old abandoned insane asylum. There's only one thing to be done. Save them from this horrifying fate. You enter the sanatorium with hopes of finding them. But soon, this hope starts to dwindle. As you progress through room after room, the music and the lights start to fade in and out and shadows appear in the corridors. You eventually discover that the spirit of a young schizophrenic girl now haunts the old building, and she's out for revenge. She sends demonic apparitions in pursuit of you, turning the search of your friends into a deadly race against the clock. Can you make it out of the mental institution with your companions and your life? Packed with a demon, what would you do in order to get what you most desire in the world? When Richard crashes his car on a dark country road at night, he finds himself wandering through a forest filled with various landmarks that contain a number of demonic objects. As you make your way through a burning village, an abandoned house, a collection of shipping containers, a crashed plane, and a number of other areas, it's a race against time in order to compile your list of objects required to keep the demons at bay. They will stalk you through the trees, monstrous breath always on your back and ready to pounce. Can you make it out of the woods with your soul intact and back to your beautiful house and your beautiful wife? Leave. A refreshing mixture of top-down 2D gameplay and distorted photorealism, you play as a young, bespectacled girl trapped inside her home. When she awakens all alone in the dimly lit house, she must find her way through room after room, solving puzzles in order to progress. As you explore, you begin to uncover secrets that had been hidden away about your family and exactly what transpired in the last few months. However, secrets are not the only thing lurking in the darkness. As you try to escape from this waking nightmare, you will have multiple encounters that will draw you deeper into the spellbinding web that this game creates. The Wedding As Anima and Metis' parents prepare for the wedding, Metis feels that exploring the nearby woods would be more enjoyable than sitting through the boring ceremony. As the two children head deep within the forest, they come by a house forgotten by time and consumed by nature. 
Exploring the dark abode, they awaken the supernatural presence inside, realizing that this home has been abandoned for good reason. Regretting their decision, but seemingly trapped, they must flee from the horrors pursuing them throughout the house. Will you be able to escape and return to your parents' wedding alive? Heritage When your dear grandmother passes away suddenly, you are left with grief at her death and an old house full of childhood memories. As you stay the night to ponder its future, you discover that memories are not all that reside here. Exploring the rooms of your youth, you witness strange paranormal occurrences, noises, moving furniture, and the deeper you go, the more the invisible presence seems to envelop you. If you want to know the truth behind your grandmother's passing, solve the puzzles and unlock the mysterious secrets hidden below. But you may not like what you find, and perhaps it won't like you either. Palette. Cianos BC and runs their own clinic that specializes in memories, retrieving them, and even possibly using them to predict the future. As Cianos is finishing up for the night, delving into the idea that memories, though lost, never truly disappear, a disturbance occurs. A woman arrives in the office, insisting that the doctor hold a session for her, but when refused, she threatens the doctor with a gun. Under duress, the player must take a journey through the blood-soaked memories filling in the blanks and uncovering the past. But as the pieces are put together, the more the sanity of your patient is put into question, and your safety placed in more jeopardy. The Room A short and simple horror game with multiple endings, The Room places the protagonist in the observation room of a medical facility with the only objective, escape. After a series of Rorschach tests, you find yourself within the room with no exit seemingly available to you. A quick scan of the room reveals an assortment of objects. A locked door, a looming window, crates that lead to a vent, a table with your chosen ink block tests, several lockers, your bed, and a picture of a little girl you can now remember. Suddenly, the lights burst and flicker, allowing the darkness to consume you. Isolation and insanity are your greatest enemies, as you struggle with yourself in an attempt to be free of this nightmare. There are many ways out, but where they lead may be worse than where you began. The Longing Ribbon When three friends and their dog on a day trip go through the woods, the last thing they expected is to wind up soaking wet and exhausted in a huge mansion hidden away in the middle of the forest. The mansion and its kindly owner are a welcome refuge from the raging storm outside, but every house has its secrets, especially this one. Soon the player finds that the mansion is turning against them with creatures, horrific monsters, and even furniture attacking them at every turn. The oppressive atmosphere of the story becomes incredibly claustrophobic and terrifying, and in the end, sacrifices will have to be made, but the question is, how much is too much when it comes to letting go? I can't escape. How you found yourself in this deep underground network of stone tunnels is a complete mystery. All you know is that you can't find your way to the surface. Your life will be over. The noise of the mysterious creatures lurking over your shoulder and locked doors on the only way to freedom. Navigating this maze is no small feat. Darkness and pitfalls will hinder your way and even ways that appear to lead back to civilization will only serve to turn you back on your path. The walls will literally have eyes and will haunt you with their stare. The atmosphere and constant loss of direction will keep you believing that you simply can't escape. Seven Mysteries School is always a drag. However, it's even worse when it's cursed and plagued by supernatural events. You initially play as Tuan, a student tasked with a treasure hunt, but instead of treasure, he finds a notebook filled with the names and deaths of exchange students who went to the school. 
As the game progresses, it focuses on various characters who must make their way through the story without dying, and also finding out whether the events in the school are due to a curse, or one of the students, perhaps even one that you trust. There are a number of endings to this game, and you will have to use every last skill at your disposal to see them all. Lights and Shadows. This is a first-person psychological horror game that will keep you on your toes at every turn. You travel through dark, misty woods searching for any kind of light to provide you some form of sanity. Running through the forest, you must use mist bottles in order to keep the creatures that lurk amongst the trees from attacking you and ending your life. As you continue through the game, the pace quickens and danger builds. So if you wish to remain unseen, utilize your candle sparingly. In order to win, play tactically, saving your items and your stamina for only when absolutely necessary. But something lurks in the darkness, something absolutely petrifying, that can catch you at any moment. A Mother's Inferno A train ride for a mother and her son takes a frightening turn when a demonic presence descends and steals your child before your very eyes. Determined to save him, you must traverse through the warp train from your carriage to other carriages in search for him. But beware of the hellish threats that you will encounter on your journey, deformed humans who may aid or hinder your progress, and other twisted monstrosities that will stand in your way, behead, eviscerate, and destroy anything between you and your boy to face that final horror. That is, if your grief doesn't stop you first. Anonymous Messages when you wake up in a forest with no recollection of who you are and how you got here, the player's only hope for salvation is to recover anything and everything that can help you remember. You discover cassette tapes on your journey that, while brief, aid you in discovering your past. But they also speak of hidden danger lurking in the woods. As the environment itself becomes the enemy, you are suspicious of every tree, every moment, and every sound. What is more disturbing is the hand you may have had in creating and aiding the power that now stalks you. Perhaps remembering will not be as rewarding as you believe. Insane Helltorium when your colleague Joanna decides to investigate the San Retreat Sanatorium as part of your joint supernatural journal column, you are steadfast in not accompanying her on the assignment. However, two days have passed and you have received no word from her. To try and uncover her fate, you must journey into the sanatorium and face whatever paranormal forces have taken her. Following a trail of Joanna's notes which lead you deeper into the building, signs and strange noises appear to follow you giving you the impression that you are not alone. As you continue to brave the unknown, the shadows close in, as well as the horrible truth that perhaps coming to rescue your friend was not a good idea. You'd better hope that your quest doesn't turn into another fight for survival. Paranoiac you play as Miki Takamura, a woman who has just moved into her deceased aunt's old house after it was left to her. For three years, the house has stood empty, but something has Miki spooked. She begins to see a monster that chases her continuously at night and torments her waking hours with thoughts of paranoia and superstition. The game plays incredibly well with an intriguing plot and great soundtrack, but a few annoying chases in the game diminish the horror. Once on the path to the end, the player will wonder, 
Was it real? Or all just a dream? Kalina. When Alex awakes alone outside of his grandmother's house in his parents' car, the young teen has no idea what happened or how he got there. In order to discover where his parents have vanished to, he must explore their home and surrounding woods, armed with only the light of his torch and his wits. To uncover the terrible secrets that lie here, Alex must piece together puzzle after puzzle, all whilst being hindered by terrifying ghostly apparitions that appear and disappear at will. A first-person horror experience, Kalina is sure to make you glimpse things out of the corner of your eye before you go to sleep, and also will leave you hoping that you don't have a family curse. A life ruined. Hidden away in the dark corners of a game jolt is a first-person horror game known as A Life Ruined. Created by user CP Soft, this title drops you in a cell somewhere underground and your first instincts are to escape. As you manage to break out of your cell, you discover that your predicament is far worse than you initially thought. You are trapped in a maze of claustrophobic tunnels that turn you around so often that you may wind up lost for hours before you find your way out. The lighting is very dim to the point of near blindness. Every shadow you glimpse seems to be a presence and every clue to the meaning of this labyrinth is a nightmare. Were there cells for prisoners? Perhaps there were experiments gone wrong. Did they escape the facility, or are they still roaming in the halls, hurting anyone they come across? Can you escape this place and regain control over your life? Rekinder. Young Shunsuke went to stay at his grandmother's house but when he returns home, his tranquil home has fallen to death and decay. His neighbor tries to eat him, and his only solace is found in the local clubhouse where the other children have gathered after their parents have seemingly disappeared. Trapped in a schoolhouse version of the most dangerous game, the children have to overcome not only each other, but also the painful memories of the families they can't seem to find. This game has elements of dark comedy, as well as some fourth wall breaking humor that will help relieve the tension. This critical look at social issues and how they can affect children in not only games, but the real world, is definitely worth checking out. The Chain Letter Massacre As anyone does once waking up in the morning, our protagonist Derek Freak begins his day by checking his emails. Nothing too special, except for one silly looking message, warning him to forward it on to five friends, or else Derek will face the wrath of the devil showwoman. Despite this threat on your life, you can either decide to leave the email alone, or else send as many out to your friends as you please. However, while some may buy into the chain, others will not, and those who refuse to conform begin to perish under suspicious circumstances. Due to this, and even some friends turning against you, your sanity decreases as the harmless email becomes more deadly than expected. Once you decide to cease forwarding the email, or run out of friends, ghostly female spectres haunt your house at night. You must return to your bed by hiding in places around your home if you wish to survive. But even if you make it in time, the nightmare will only continue tomorrow. Desert Nightmare Sandra is just a cranky teenage girl on a road trip with her parents when she is left in the middle of the desert after mouthing off at a remote gas station. When she is unable to get a hold of them on her phone to apologize, she walks to the next town over in order to see if they are staying at the hotel there. Thus begins the free fall of psychosis and abandonment issues as Sandra explores the town of Dusty Creek to try and find her missing parents. 
but monsters and crazy locals disrupt her at every turn. A few game-breaking glitches still exist, but other than that, the messages within tackle some real-world issues along with some genuine scares along the way. Fabricant Stephen Cornelli is down on his luck and willing to do absolutely anything to earn a little cash. So he accepts a bet to go into an old factory that has been abandoned for 42 years after a series of mysterious disappearances led to its closure. You make your way through the maintenance tunnels with the light of a single lantern guiding your path. There are a number of puzzles for you to solve in order to progress and escape various hazards, such as rising water and explosives. You must constantly monitor the oil in your lamp to prevent it from running out, whilst being aware that there is something waiting for you in the factory. Something far more sinister than what you may expect. Skinwalker Based on the Navajo legend, Skinwalker follows a group of friends who go camping for a weekend, and then discover they're in for more than ghost stories and s'mores. A campy 80s B-horror movie plot and subtle ambience creates an atmosphere perfect for a quick, scary game. The 20 minutes you play will have you frantically scanning the forest's quiet surroundings for the monster, and make you question every other character's intentions. The only drawback to this game is that it has no save mechanics, but the story and atmosphere more than make up for it. The Marionette, a hand-painted masterpiece of a game. The Marionette follows the life of Martin, a sculptor struggling to sell his artworks and also struggling to find himself. One day, he receives an odd parcel in his letterbox and is mysteriously transported to a house he has never seen before. Or so he thinks. The player must solve puzzles and explore this strange house, which holds surprises around every corner. The owner of the home, a girl named Alice, has a mysterious past, and it soon becomes apparent that Martin's life holds more than what he may remember. As the dwelling bids you deeper into its grasp, you start to realize that someone else is pulling your strings. But the question is, who? Hello? Hello. An RPG maker title from the mind of Ryuchi Tachibana, Hello? Hell O is a simple concept that manages to draw you deeper in the further you play. Set within a single room, the player begins to interact with the world, only to quickly reach the ending. At least, one version of it. Every time you re-enter the room, new items and objects appear, each affecting the outcome you achieve. A falling bottle, a ringing phone, opening and closing curtains and blowing out candles bring the current iteration of this world to a close, only for you to step back into what seems to be only minor changes. Over time, the additions become more noticeable, with some disturbing consequences for interacting with them. With each ending you achieve, you unlock more of the story behind the game. But to find the truth, will you be strong enough to brave the supernatural horrors keeping you trapped inside this infinite loop? Thin Walls Iki is a young girl who lost her voice due to a traumatic event earlier in her childhood. She cannot speak, so when she wakes up all alone in her home with a strange voice talking to her, she is understandably surprised. The voice called Lo guides her around the house in the hopes that they can work out what caused Iki's trauma and eventually rediscover her lost voice. Slowly, creatures begin to emerge through the home, and all the while Iki is being stalked by a dark figure who she seems to recognize but cannot quite place. Your voice is waiting for you. All you have to do is go find it.
Ascension. Atticus, the groundskeeper, believed his workplace would be the safest place for his sick daughter to rest, but he couldn't be more wrong. After being trapped in the lift, Atticus manages to enter the facility, but is plunged into shadow. He returns to where he left his daughter, only to discover that not only has his daughter disappeared, but horrifying monsters have overrun this place. To save her from their clutches, you must use the cover of darkness to hide your presence from the enemies and literally hold your breath until danger passes. You may even discover the cause of their foreboding manifestation along the way, as long as you don't come to a grisly end. Theory X, a unique take on the horror genre. You take control of a virus planted inside a human host. As you make the body your home, you are tasked with utterly destroying the human's immune system that stands in the way of successfully infecting them. You start in specific organs and must navigate throughout the body, avoiding antiviruses as you do so. Unlike most games on this list, you play as the evil entity seeking to destroy life. Or perhaps you're just another life form trying to continue on your natural life cycle. And it is us who are evil in your eyes. Either way you look at it, this game still manages to be entertaining despite the subtler horror aspects it holds. Stage Fright Wildly considered more terrifying than death, performing before an audience often conjures a deep anxiety or phobia within those forced to be the centre of attention. This indie horror title by Brian Kane places you centre stage in front of a crowd waiting for you to perform and do it well. Using the S, D, F, and J, K, L keys, the player must play a piano with near-perfect precision in order to complete the musical number. But you only have one shot. Through three difficulty settings, rehearsal, audition, and solo concert, you are exposed to ever-increasing audience numbers as well as more complicated pieces. Should you falter prematurely, you will simply be greeted with a failure screen with minor audio distortion. However, if you should happen to turn in a fantastic performance, you begin to experience a ghostly apparition, induced anxiety, and causing hallucinations that interfere with your playing as well as your perception of reality. If you are unable to steady your confidence and maintain it until the songs end, this ghostly woman will humiliate you before everyone's eyes. Blameless. A first-person horror puzzle game, Blameless puts the player in the role of an architect who has been recruited in order to assist the development of a half-finished house. During your survey, something feels slightly off, however. When you glimpse a splatter of blood, suddenly it's lights out. And that's where the game really begins. You wake up with no means of contacting the outside world, locked in with terrifying shadowy figures following you from room to room, mysterious noises coming from the walls, and very little light until you find the switches and the torches. Solving puzzle after puzzle, it's your job to get out of this half-made house of horrors and back into the outside world. Can you manage it and escape with your life? Jesus. Get away from me. Akemitan, Shimodo Shimoko, and her family reside in a small, tranquil village which is under the protection of a god called the O. Shimodo travels out one day to make an offering to the deity in exchange for its benevolence, but after leaving the basket outside the temple of the O, she becomes very hungry. 
and eats one of the pieces of fruit. Everything seems fine upon her return home, but when she wakes up later that day, things begin to turn ugly. Cut off from the outside world, Shimoda begins to encounter strange creatures and apparitions that quickly turn deadly. Heavy silence builds the tension between encounters as you navigate through an endless stream of creatures as penance for your betrayal of your one true God. RE77 PT clones are everywhere right now, but not many of them have what RE77 has. Genuine horror. The simplistic ambience and build up to a jump scare may require you to carry a change of pants. The plot guides you along the path of an unnamed protagonist whose normally quaint hallway turns into a darkened path of mystery and insanity. Currently greenlit on Steam, who knows what the future holds for this title, but be sure to keep an eye on it for further developments and scares. Notes of Obsession You play as Harriet, an exhausted mother with a picture-perfect house and an equally perfect family. Before your husband goes out of town on a business trip, he leaves you the gift of a gorgeous antique music box. As you fall asleep, you leave the music box next to you, and soon wake to a thunderstorm outside in a scarily quiet home. You must carry the music box with you through the house, and wind it up to reveal runes that are clues to making it through this endless, terrifying night. Shadows jump at you from scant patches of light, and you will find yourself jumping at every sound. Eventually, through all the puzzles and the raging storm, you can find your way to dawn. If you're cautious enough. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion As an aspiring local historian, the player decides to investigate an old house on the hill, rumoured to be haunted by terrible ghosts and creatures. When you arrive, you are faced with a task from a sweet ghost girl named Spooky. Get through all 1,000 rooms without losing your nerve and uncover the mystery at the end. As you progress through the mansion, the game goes from adorable to terrifying, constantly swinging on a delicate balance between the two. The player will encounter specimens as they progress through the game, all of which have their own unique designs and a number of different means of attack. The game has a lot of replayability and has many game references. There's Specimen 3 who looks like an escaped experiment from Resident Evil. Specimen 4 looks like Shuan from many Japanese horror games and films. Specimen 5 looks akin to Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. And Specimen 6 looks similar to The Happy Mask Man from Zelda Majora's Mask. Each specimen attacks the player differently. Some use hallucinating screen effects, while others place obstacles in front of the player, hindering their process. There are also arcade cabinets that the player can interact with and the game keeps score of your best points. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion also comes with passwords that allow the player to jump to a certain room checkpoint in the game, so the player doesn't need to start from the beginning each time. If all that wasn't enough, the game also has an endless mode, where the aim of the game is to see how many rooms the player can venture through without getting killed. What's more, the game creators at Lag Studios kindly introduced new specimens into the mix, and they are just as horrific and disturbing as the originals. 
Some look like enemies from Outlast. Another is a take on Five Nights at Freddy's. And even the monster from I'm Scared makes an appearance. Even the death screams are just as disturbing and make the player want to avoid them at all costs. For a freeware horror indie game, we feel this is one of the best games out there for visuals, atmosphere, replayability and design.